I'm Ken. Today I'd like to give you just a few pointers on doing tasty string bends on a guitar and adding a little vibrato to your playing. So please, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Now before we start, I'd just like to talk about the chords that are going on in that backing track behind. First of all, you've got a D minor 7, which is just a bar of your first finger across the 5th fret. Then your 3rd finger goes to the D string at the 7th fret. And your 2nd finger goes to the 6th fret on the B string to get your standard D minor 7. The second chord is a G13, which you can do just by placing your first finger on the third fret of the low E, your second finger on the third fret of the D string, your ring finger on the fourth fret of the G string, and your pinky goes to the fifth fret of the B string, G13. That first lick is in the 10th position. You're going to start with your 3rd finger on the G string on the 12th fret and do a full bend. Strike the string and bend it up all the way. Give a little vibrato while it's bent. Then release to a pull off of the 1st finger on the 10th fret and hammer back onto the 12th fret in one movement. The second phrase of the first lick starts with your hand at the 7th position and with your 4th finger on the 10th fret of the G string. You're going to pick that note and then go down to the 9th fret using your 3rd finger and give it a half step bend with lots of vibrato. Next you come down to the 7th fret using your 1st finger on that G string and to the 10th fret using your pinky here on the D string, back to the 7th fret using your 1st finger on the G string. And then lastly, you're going to give it another half step bend using your third finger on the G string, 9th fret. Slowly, it should sound something like this. Next, we start just like we did before. Start with our fourth finger on the G string at the 10th fret, going down to our third finger and doing a, a half step bend there, just like we did before two times, only on the second time you're going to hold that half step bend and give a little vibrato. From there you're going to release it down to a pull off with another pull off starting with your third finger on the ninth fret, pulling off to your first finger on the seventh fret. Slowly it should sound something like this. Okay, moving on, you're going to use your 3rd finger at the 12th fret of the high E string and do a quick half step bend, then going to use your pinky at the 13th fret of that high E string, then to the 10th fret using your 1st finger, still on that high, high E string. That should sound like this. Then you're going to do a full bend using your 3rd finger on the 15th fret of the high E string and you do a full bend using lots of vibrato. So all together that should sound something like this. Okay, for the last part we're going to start with our third finger on the 12th fret of the high E string and do a quick half step bend just like before. Then we're going to go down to our first finger on the 10th fret of the high E string. Then, for a cool thing, we're going to slide with our second finger from the 8th fret to the 10th fret on that high E string. So together that'll be like this. And then to finish it off, we use our pinky finger on the 10th fret on the G string, then to our ring finger, then to our first finger. Slowly that should look something like this.
Adding a little vibrato to a band is something that's often overlooked by guitar players and can really bring a lot of life to your playing. So anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you learned something from this video.